baby bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador! The Poisoning of Snow White. On the stage, a peacock dressed in a queen's costume stood before the magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? It's Snow White! What? Snow White? I must get rid of her, and I know just how to do it. I will give her this poisonous apple. The Forest Theater was putting on the play Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The play had reached its most exciting part. The evil queen was going to give Snow White the poisonous apple. The audience held its breath in suspense, but Sheriff Labrador was dozing off. <sighs> In the end, the prince saves Snow White, and they live happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. I've seen this play a thousand times. If it wasn't for Officer Doberman playing one of the dwarves, I wouldn't have even come. <sighs> oh dear, Sheriff Labrador, come help! Officer Doberman suddenly ran over to the sheriff in a panic. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, the prince has vanished! <sighs> oh, what? Vanished? Was he here earlier? Uh, I'll come right away. No! The golden retriever who plays the prince is stuck in a traffic jam and won't be able to make it here in time. Sheriff Labrador, you're the most handsome person in the audience. You'll make a perfect prince. <laughs> huh? Wait, I'm not an actor. Oh! But before Sheriff Labrador could finish objecting, Officer Doberman put the prince's costume on him and quickly pushed him onto the stage. Rabbit, who was playing Snow White, lay in the middle of the stage, pretending to have fainted after being poisoned. Oh, it's very simple. Now that Snow White has eaten the poisoned apple and has fainted, all you have to do is wake her from her slumber. That ends the play. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, all right. <clears throat> oh, there's a beautiful princess over there. <laughs> Oh, oh, ouch, oh, ouch. Oh. Sheriff Labrador was about to walk over when Rabbit started moving. She covered her tummy with her hands and rolled around. Nobody knew what was going on. Mommy, why is Snow White awake before the prince even walks over to wake her up? Huh? Yes, wow, it strange. looks like there's something wrong with Snow White. The audience broke out into whispers. Sheriff wrong. Labrador rushed over to Rabbit's side. He saw that her brow was covered with sweat and her hands were clutching her tummy tightly. She was in such great pain, her long ears were about to tie themselves in knots. Huh? Oh, oh no. We need to get her to the hospital. Officer Doberman quickly took Rabbit to the hospital. The audience started to complain and discuss the matter loudly. Oh no, something has happened to Rabbit. Has she been poisoned? Oh, poisoned? Oh, that's right. The Bad Queen didn't give a poisoned apple to Snow White. Did the Queen caused Snow White to have a bellyache? The audience looked at Peacock suspiciously. Peacock was sweating profusely. This, uh, this, uh, this. I was just playing the role of Bad Queen. I didn't really poison Snow White. Don't panic, everyone. Let me investigate. Sheriff Labrador examined the stage carefully. Something caught his attention. It was the apple from which Snow White had taken a bite. Sheriff Labrador picked up the apple. Huh, the apple is dirty, and it still has a sticker on its skin. Could it be? Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. I know, Snow White was not poisoned. She just ate an apple that hadn't been washed. The dirty fruit has caused her tummy ache. Huh? Oh, really? That's right. While we were rehearsing before the performance, Rabbit ate a lot of unwashed apples. The surfaces of unwashed fruit may have pesticides or germs left on them, and eating them may upset the stomach, causing tummy aches. At this time, the hospital called. Sure enough, Rabbit's tummy ache had been caused by eating unwashed apples. The truth was uncovered. The audience broke into applause for Sheriff Labrador. Wow! Mommy, the prince can solve cases! Huh, is this a new Snow White story? Oh, I know. This play is actually the case of the poisoning of Snow White. Oh, great acting. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you, everyone. I'm getting off the stage now. <laughs> Wait, your acting was great. 
do it again. What? Please spare me. <laughs> Mini episode on safety. Woof. Wow. Rabbit bought a lot of sweet strawberries. I want to eat them. <gasps> Wait, little bunny. These strawberries haven't been washed. Wash them before you eat them. <laughs> then I'll eat the grapes and cherries first. Uh -uh -uh. They haven't been washed either. What? I can't wait. I want to eat some right now. No, little bunny. Sheriff Labrador's safety talk. The surfaces of unwashed fruit may have pesticides or germs left on them. If you eat them, they may cause tummy aches. In serious cases, you may even get infected and have to be hospitalized. Friends, you must always wash your fruit before you eat them. Woof! Let's go share it, Labrador! Woof. The case of the stolen apple tree. Oh, wow! The apples from Farmer Donkey's orchard are really delicious, juicy, and sweet. Mmm. Early one morning, Sheriff Labrador was enjoying a delicious apple when the telephone at the police station suddenly rang. Woof! Sheriff Labrador speaking. Sheriff Labrador, it's Farmer Donkey. Our apples. Mmm. Your apples are delicious, Farmer Donkey. I must get more from you next week. <laughs> of course they're delicious. Our apples are pollinated by bees. Oh, but, but Sheriff Labrador, I'm calling to report a case. Our apple orchard has been robbed. Hmm? What? Robbed? I'll be there right away. Sheriff Labrador drove his police car as fast as he could to the apple orchard in the countryside. There were so many apple trees. Heavy red apples hung from every tree. Huh? All the apples seem to be here. Farmer Donkey, what was stolen? Right here, look! Farmer Donkey pointed to a big hole in the ground. Huh? Something from that hole got stolen? What? Oh, my! Sheriff Labrador, there used to be an apple tree here, but all that remains is a hole. The whole apple tree has been stolen! Uh, huh? The thief stole an entire apple tree. Uh, uh, Farmer Donkey, don't worry. I'll get your apple tree back for sure. Sheriff Labrador carefully examined the scene. Suddenly, his eyes were drawn to the dirt road by the big hole. There were a few rows of shallow tire marks on the road. Uh, Farmer Donkey, why are there so many tire marks here? Oh, well, that's because our orchard's apples are world famous. There are many people who drive here to buy apples every day. There aren't many footprints near here, which means that the thief must have put the apple tree in a car. But there are so many rows of tire marks here. Hmm, which one belongs to the thief? Sheriff Labrador sank deep into thought. Standing to one side, Farmer Donkey looked at the big hole, sadly thinking about the apple tree that had been stolen. <sighs> that was the biggest, tallest apple tree in the entire orchard. It always bore the most apples of all the trees. There were at least 500 apples on the tree. Oh, huh? The biggest, tallest apple tree? Ha! <laughs> I know! Since the stolen apple tree was the tallest and biggest with 500 apples on it, it must be very heavy. Then the deepest tire marks must belong to the thief. If we follow the deepest tire marks, we can catch up with the thief. Sheriff Labrador's dark round eyes suddenly lit up. He drove his police car and with Farmer Donkey, he followed the deepest tire marks. Black Bear drove a big truck, carrying the apple tree happily toward his home. <laughs> Farmer Donkey's apples are crisp and sweet. Taking the apple tree and planting it in my house, I'll have an endless supply of apples. These apples are so delicious. Oh, there's nobody around. I'm going to stop the truck and pick a couple apples to eat. <laughs> Black Bear parked his truck on the side of the road and climbed onto the back to pick apples. Huh? What's that sound? Oh, <laughs> there's a beehive on this apple tree. That's great. I like to eat honey apples. Oh, why are all the bees coming out? Hey, ouch! No, oh, don't sting me. <laughs> ouch, help, ouch, help, uh, ouch! 
Huh? Who's yelling for help? Sheriff Labrador and Farmer Donkey, who were pursuing Black Bear, looked and saw that Black Bear was being chased by a swarm of bees. He was desperately running in circles. His body was full of bumps, and his head had swollen up as big as a balloon. Help! Help! Oh, no, ouch! Oh, no! Oh, I'm gonna be stung to death by these bees! Oh, ouch! Oh, oh. oh, no! Well, what should we do? Black Bear must have poked the beehive on the apple tree. There are so many bees! It's scary! Oh, we should call the police! <laughs> uh, Farmer Donkey, I'm the police. Don't worry, I've got a plan to save Black Bear. Sheriff Labrador quickly broke off a few dry tree branches and lit them on fire. The burning branches produced thick black smoke. The bees smelled the black smoke and flew far away. But before Sheriff Labrador could heave a sigh of relief, Black Bear charged toward them. He hugged the sheriff and started sobbing. <laughs> sheriff Labrador, thank you for saving me again. The other time I was electrocuted when I robbed the bank. This time I was stung by bees when I stole an apple tree. My face is all swollen up. Oh, bees are horrible. Just handcuff me and take me straight to the police station. <laughs> Mini episode on safety. Woof! Sheriff Labrador, I don't want to leave you. I want to stay here forever. <laughs> but, Black Bear, you can't stay here forever. No way! There are bees outside. Bees are dreadful. I was stung until my face swelled up so big last time. This time, I'll just stay inside. Oh, uh, don't be afraid. If you do a good job protecting yourself, you won't be stung by bees. Really? Of course! Sheriff Labrador's Safety Talk. When you go outside and there are bees nearby, move away from them. Wear light-colored clothes, don't wear any perfume, and never slap or attack the bees. Stay far away from them if you don't want them to attack you. Woof! Let's go, Sheriff Labrador! Woo! Strange event in the kitchen. Sheriff, Sheriff Labrador, Labrador, I'd like, like to, to make a complaint. complaint. I want to make I a complaint, too. Me, too. Me, too. Me, too. Me, too. Me, too. Me, too. It was early afternoon. A group of animals came huffing and puffing to the Forestville Police Station. They all wanted to make complaints. Sheriff Labrador was so flustered, his forehead was wrinkled with concern. Yeah, all right. Everyone wants to complain? Who or what are you complaining about? We, we want, want to, to make a complaint, complaint about, about the happy, happy restaurant. restaurant. Huh? What's wrong with the happy restaurant? Sheriff Labrador, the happy restaurant has been cutting corners and cheating their customers. It was my birthday today, and I ordered a strawberry cake from the happy restaurant. I opened the cake box and found that there was not a single strawberry on the cake. Well, that's right. And my sausage plate. It was just a plate without a single piece of sausage on it. Oh, mine too. My paella was the same. It was only rice. There wasn't any seafood at all. What? That's so strange. I'll go to the Happy Restaurant right away. Sheriff Labrador rushed to the Happy Restaurant in a hurry. Chef Fox was scratching his head, turning round and round in the restaurant. <laughs> strange. Uh, why is it like this? Uh, how come? Chef, I've received complaints. Uh, yes, yes, Sheriff Labrador, uh, you've come at just the right time. Uh, I want to report a case. Wait, you want to report a case? But I just received complaints that your restaurant has been cutting corners. Cutting corners? I, I want to make a report about this. Uh, Sheriff Labrador, strange events have been happening in our restaurant. The dishes that I prepared and placed on the tables uh, have disappeared after a while. Huh? Disappeared? Uh, that's right. Uh, I'm really not cutting corners. The dishes have been disappearing on their own. Sheriff Labrador, uh, if this continues, my restaurant will surely close. The chef was trembling with anxiety. Sheriff Labrador touched his chin thoughtfully. Fox, don't panic. Let me investigate and see what the problem is. Sheriff Labrador examined the kitchen. He saw that the doors and windows were shut tight. The top of the gas vent also seemed untouched. Hmm, it's strange. Your dishes couldn't have disappeared on their own. Somebody must have stolen them. 
how did the thief enter the kitchen? Then, Sheriff Labrador noticed a few light scratch marks on the table where the dishes were placed. He looked up and saw that the table was directly under the skylight on the roof. Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. Huh? I see. Chef, can you make some dishes now? Huh? Now? Sheriff Labrador, it's just three in the afternoon. Are you hungry? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm not hungry. But I know what's happening. Fox made a grilled fish and placed it on the table. Its delicious scent floated through the skylight. Just then, a chubby cat climbed onto the roof of the restaurant and tiptoed to the skylight. <laughs> the happy restaurant is cooking up delicious food again. It's my favorite. <laughs> Grilled fish. I'm going to fish it out. Meow. <laughs> the big fat cat took out a fishing rod, opened the skylight, and lowered his fishing line as if he were fishing. He hooked the grilled fish on the plate and reeled it in. Mm, um, um, mm, this grilled fish is so delicious. Wow! So you're the thief! Uh, you must pay for the fish, the dishes, and the strawberries! Oh no, I've been caught! Ah! <coughs> Sheriff and Fox climbed up to the roof. They saw the big fat cat covering his throat with his hands and rolling around. His face had turned crimson. Help! <laughs> Help! Oh, oh no! A fishbone is stuck in his throat. Uh, 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 this, uh, all I wanted for him was to pay for the dishes. I didn't wish for a fishbone to get stuck in his throat. Uh, oh, there's olive oil in the kitchen. Uh, I'll go get some. Oh, no. If you have a fish bone stuck in your throat, olive oil won't help. We need to take the bone out with tweezers. But the fish bone is stuck too deeply in his throat and can't be seen clearly. We need to take him to the hospital at once. Sheriff Labrador and Fox quickly took Big Fat Cat to the hospital. After receiving treatment, the fish bone stuck in the cat's throat was finally taken out. Oh dear, that was so miserable. Chef, why didn't you fillet the fish before cooking it? Huh? What? Uh, why did you gobble down the fish? Well, because I s stole the fish. Hmm. Cat, do you know that it's very dangerous to get a bone stuck in your throat? This time, if the chef and I didn't take you to the hospital, the fish bone might have sliced your wind tube and killed you. It it's that serious? Oh, Sheriff Labrador, Chef, I I'm sorry. I know I was wrong. I won't steal food anymore. <laughs> Mini episode on safety. Woof. <laughs> the Happy Restaurant has created new dishes. Let me look at the menu. Fried fish, grilled fish, steamed fish. Uh, why are they all fish? Huh? <laughs> oh, cat. Isn't fish your favorite food? Sheriff Labrador, I do love fish. But after I got that fish bone stuck in my throat the last time, I don't dare eat fish anymore. <laughs> oh, don't be afraid. Just be careful when you eat fish, and you'll be fine. Sheriff Labrador's Safety Talk. Even though it's dangerous to have fish bones stuck in your throat, if you take small bites when you're eating fish and spit out the bones, they won't get stuck in your throat. Choosing fish with less or no bones is also a good idea. Fish is very nutritious, but fish bones are a danger. Friends, let's be safe when we eat fish. Woof! Let's go share it, Labrador! Woo. Mr. Wolf was attacked. Woof! Rain every day. Huh. <sighs> I haven't even seen the sun in so long. It had been raining nonstop in Forestville recently. Sheriff Labrador looked out the window to see that a lightning and thunderstorm was raging. Suddenly, a wolf rushed into the police station. He was soaking wet. Help! Help! Sheriff Labrador! Somebody's trying! Somebody's trying to hurt me! Somebody's trying to hurt you? Mr. Wolf, what happened? Who is trying to hurt you? That's right. Who is trying to hurt me? I don't know who it is. Oh, what? 
Seeing the puzzled look on Sheriff Labrador's face, Mr. Wolf was so nervous his tail stood straight up. Today, while I was fishing, a bomb exploded and, and, and my fishing rod was destroyed. Sheriff Labrador, I'm so afraid. Fishing bomb? Fishing rod? What? What's all that about? Uh, wait, Mr. Wolf, where were you attacked? As, as, um, upon the suburbs. I understand now. Let's visit the scene of the crime first. Sheriff Labrador and Mr. Wolf got into the police car, and they drove to the pond in the suburbs where Mr. Wolf had been attacked. I was fishing here this afternoon. Suddenly, it started raining very heavily, so I took shelter under a tree. Then I was attacked by a flash bomb! Sheriff Labrador examined their surroundings and found that there was grass everywhere. There was only one tall tree nearby. Sheriff Labrador walked toward the tree. Hmm. Uh, the branches are broken and the grass by the tree is burnt. Um, Mr. Wolf, were you attacked under this tree? Yes, yes, it was this tree. I saw a streak of bright light flash by the tree and the bomb exploded beside my feet with a rumble. Oh dear, I was so frightened. I grabbed my fishing rod and ran. Grabbed the fishing rod and ran? Yes, the fishing rod was brand new. It was very expensive. I ran and ran. Then another flash bomb fell from the sky, hitting the fishing rod in my hand. Bang! My hand suddenly felt numb and the fishing rod broke. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, I think I see a fishing rod. You dropped this? Sheriff Labrador picked up a bent, broken fishing rod from the grass. Oh, dear! My fishing rod is made of metal! It was deformed by the flash bomb! The Sheriff Labrador! Help! I don't want to get hurt! <laughs> Mr. Wolf was so afraid, he fell to the ground and plopped into a sitting position. He stared at the fishing rod and started wailing loudly. Oh, 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 I'm sure someone's still out to get me. Sheriff Labrador, you must save me. Oh, don't be afraid, Mr. Wolf. Leave it to me. Huh. Flash bomb, exploding sound, feeling numb all over. Sheriff Labrador thought about Mr. Wolf's story. Then a clap of thunder caught his attention. Thunder and rain, could it be? Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. I've solved the case, Mr. Wolf. Let's go back to the police station. Huh? Sheriff Labrador, you haven't caught the person who attacked me. Well, that's because nobody attacked you. You were struck by lightning. What? I was struck by lightning? That's right. You were attacked on a rainy day and there were flashes of light and sounds like explosions. That was lightning and thunder. When there's lightning and rain, and you shelter under a tree in an open area, raising your long metal fishing rod high, it's easy to be struck by lightning. In addition, when you were hit, your hand went numb. That was electrocution. Oh dear! I didn't know being hit by lightning could deform my fishing rod. Sheriff Labrador, this is so frightening. Let's hurry back. <laughs> yes, try to stay indoors when it's raining with lightning and thunder. Especially avoid going out in the open. If you happen to be in the open country, find a low-lying area and squat down in it to shelter. Lightning is very dangerous. You must take care. Woof! Mini episode on safety. Woof! <sighs> Why is it raining again? I must find a place to shelter from the rain. Hey, there's a big tree over there. Oh, wait, Mr. Wolf, don't go near the tree and watch out for lightning. 
<laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I was about to be hit by lightning again. <laughs> Sheriff Labrador, thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Just doing my job. Sheriff Labrador Safety Talk. Thunderstorms with lots of lightning and thunder can be very frightening. Friends, don't play outside when there's lightning and thunder. If you have to go out, avoid carrying long metal objects. Woof! 